Hey guys, so let me paint you my dream. I would like to live in California, owning my own house with my two corgi dogs running around in their happy grass. I have a family, I have a kid or two, and I'm doing this at the range of age 30-ish. This is an expensive goal of mine. <laughs> I have been trying to like, I'm just curious about the pricing of houses in Los Angeles and it is really hefty, let's just say that. Um, the average house is around 1.5 million minimum in this area that I live in. So if I want to accomplish my dreams, I'm gonna have to start investing my money. I am not going to be able to afford a $500,000 down payment. So what does that leave us to? Today's video, we're going to learn how to invest our coin. So hopefully by, you know, time passing, I'll be able to turn a certain amount of money into the down payment of my house. So what we're doing today is we're not going to use stocks to do this. We're not going to use buying a token. We're going to be doing crypto yield farming. Now, I know what it might sound like. It might sound like a scam. And trust me, I've been scammed before. So I am trying my best not to get scammed. This video is going to be about me going through the process. This is not a tutorial, please. This is no financial advice, but if you are like me and you're in a place where you want to have a financial secure future, then maybe keep on watching to learn a new thing about crypto. All right. So for those who don't know, what is yield farming? Let me pull up the definition. Okay, yield farming is an investment strategy in crypto. It involves lending your money, or in this case, cryptocurrency coins or tokens to get a reward in the form of transaction fees or interest. It is similar to earning interest from a bank account. You're technically lending money to a bank. From what I've heard, yield farming is the ability to just take your money that's just sitting in the bank already, put it into another type of bank. It's like DeFi, which is what we're talking about today. And you can stake it, which is basically lend it into this market, and you will earn interest because you're putting your money in that project. I know, it's crazy. So how much money can you really make with yield farming? Let's take a look at this. All of us have some sort of money probably in a savings. And what is that annual interest? So I have Bank of America. With my Bank of America account, apparently the savings that I earn every year is 0.01%. Cool. <laughs> so if I'm earning 1% a year and inflation, which is currently 2% a year, I'm losing money. So my money just sitting in a bank account, just sitting there, is not safe. And I want to do something about it. So we're going to invest a hundred bucks. I'm just going to start there. I'm not going to put all my savings account, but hopefully this is a journey of financial security and learning something new. Okay. So all I'm looking for is really a project that has higher APY or interest than 1% a year. So let's just look. My boyfriend is in crypto. So a lot of the stuff we're hearing is from him. So there's a project called Alpha Homora V2. Honestly, the UX is kind of daunting. I have no idea what's going on here, but don't worry gals and girlies, we're gonna do this together and hopefully put my money in the safe project. So you can see here the current APY lending money or putting money in these accounts, right? Is hovering between, I see 15% APY and 171% APY. What the fuck, right? Right? When I saw this, I was like, how come I'm not learning this? I need to figure this out. For those who don't know, this is not always accurate. As you can see here, you're actually lending USDC E, which is a stable coin, which is a dollar basically, and AVAX, which AVAX is another token. So technically this is kind of volatile because you're you're also working with another token that could go up and down, right? You want to work with a stable coin, like a dollar coin, you know? You want real fiat, right? So this might not be the best project, but as you can see here, there's actually one right here, which I think I'm going to put some coin into, which is USDC and USDT for 41% APY which is insane. So I think I'm going to do this one. This looks pretty good to me out of everything. I don't want to, you know, I personally don't want to do this one just because I don't want a coin that goes up and down in price. I'd rather use a stable coin like this. So as you can see here, this is astronomically better than 1% in my bank account. Obviously there's some risks here. The project could rug pull, but I'm putting in a hundred bucks to learn. Okay. And I'll let you guys know if anything happens. So to reiterate, basically I put in a certain amount of money into this project and I get 41.32% of interest or APY for lending it in this token. So you're not gonna get like a US dollar. It's gonna be called a USDC or USDT token, which is equivalent to US dollar. I know that's really confusing. It's just the crypto version of every token because you can't use bank account dollar, okay? If I were to put in hundred bucks in my savings account, in one year I could earn $1, right? Because it's 1%, which is great but inflation is 2%, so I'm losing money. However, hypothetically speaking, if I put $100 in and the APY or interest, right, is 41.32, I could be earning $41 over the course of a year. 
So imagine this, if you put in $10,000, what could your APY look, right? So that's the conversation we're thinking, right? So um, I hope this makes sense. My idea is just to put your money into something that grows faster than inflation. And I think I'm a personal believer in crypto and that's why we're doing it. All right, so let's just do it from the top. Let's invest my coin together. <laughs> so what I'm first gonna do is because I'm gonna first do Alpha Hamora. There's like three steps with buying anything. The first thing is I need to get this USDC token. You can't just buy it and go to like an exchange anywhere. You have to go to a specific market called Trader Joe's. So we're going to go up here. I'm on Trader Joe's XYZ.com. Make sure you look at your domains. From what I've learned, again, this is not a tutorial, but from my friends and my boyfriend, like some people like fish it with like different domains. So just make sure, don't get scammed. Okay, just look at the, <laughs> look at the domain. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a hundred bucks. Like I said, so I'm going to get a hundred bucks worth of usdc.e it's important again to not get your your like your domains wrong or like your tokens wrong so i already have in my wallet my metamask i have 1.3 avax if you're curious how i got this avax which is another token well here let's just do it together because i don't want to confuse you guys as you can see here i went on coinbase.com which is a website you can sign up for free to buy crypto and what i did is i literally just bought avalanche you can buy any token but i just personally am interested in avalanche i just bought 100 bucks worth of it you know currently one avax is worth 75 dollars, so i should be able to buy 1.27 avax so once i hit buy basically it'll be sent to my wallet and then once i buy it i can send it to my metamask and my metamask right here has a certain address i just copy it to my clipboard i'm gonna blur it out for now um, but you have your own address and I can basically send it. You can send your AVAX, this wallet, and now the money appears here. So that's how I got to here. I hope that makes sense. I left that part out just because I forgot to record that part. I have no idea what I'm doing. Did I tell you in the beginning, this is not a tutorial. I'm just trying to figure out how to buy my Manhattan Beach house. Your girl does not have the down payment. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, it says here the gas fees is 0 0.009, which is around, I think, less than a dollar. Um, so that's fine with me. Just make sure... You hit okay. Oh, did it change? Okay. Oh, it got cheaper. Okay, cool. Cool. It went through. So now when I go back to Alpha Amora and I go, I think to this, I hit farm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit max. Cool. Okay, so maybe 50. Fuck. Okay. Now I'm going to have to supply this other token. Instead of like just providing one token, I'm going to provide dual. And that will get me my AP PPY. So let's just do this real quick. So this is what's confusing about this. I have USDC. And now I need USDT. And now when I go back here, I should be able to put in a hundred bucks. Right? Max. Hello. <laughs> what is going on in here? There we go. Cool. We did it. Hit next. Basically, um, what is this? What is this? Let me call my boyfriend real quick. I'm recording right now, putting into this Alpha Hamora. Like, what the fuck is this? So you you can now you can lever it up so you earn more yield. It goes up to a dollar oh nine, or rather it goes down to ninety one cents, and you can get liquidated. Oh, so that's a good thing. Uh, the higher the debt ratio is, the quicker you get liquidated. But it's a stable coin, so USDC shouldn't go down to ninety one cents. Right, just it won't, it won't, right? Should be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. I wanna do 40%. Okay, go up all the way then. Oh, okay, 8x, I see. Wait, still 31.98, what is going on? Oh, I guess it went down some. What just happened? It, like, oh, like just now? Yeah, I mean, it fluctuates. Oh. Okay, confirm. Oh shit. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not, I'm not this is not a tutorial. Okay, confirm. Yes, confirm. Why is the gas so high? The book? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do it for the video. I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, I just did it. Yay! So now can you see your position? Let's see my position. It's pending. Babe, you lost it. It's gone. Just kidding. Boom. Wait, what? I put in 200 bucks. What, what is 1400? You did 8x, remember? Yeah. So your, your $200 are now worth 1600 What the hell? <laughs> You had, to, you had to pay back 1600 so, you know, it's not like that, but you're earning yield off of $800 instead of 100 I am? Wait, so I, who do I owe? Do I owe someone 1600 bucks? Who do I owe? You don't have to worry about it. It just pays it back. So you borrowed 1400 
Okay. Right? Yeah. So now you're, you're going to have to pay back 1400 when you're done. How do I from pay? From that 1600 How do I pay it back? Just, it just does it for you, just when you get out. Wait, did I... I owe someone $1,400. It's like I gave you I gave you a $20 bill to gamble with. You just have to give me the $20 bill back when you're done. What if I lose the $20 bill? Well, you shouldn't because it's stable coins. It's USDC versus USDT. You're only going to lose money if one of those tokens go down in value. But I won't. I should hope not or something bad's happening and your money's worthless anyways. <laughs> okay, so all I know is I'm going to be earning pause. Like, there's no way I can lose this money, right? You can lose money if the if the the productivity of your assets goes below the interest rate you have to pay. So I will lose money if people stop using the project, basically. I will keep y'all in the loop if my two hundred bucks get ever goes to two hundred sixty. Thank you, Zane, for um, helping me with this yeah. project. I hope this video makes sense. If it doesn't, I don't really know what just happened. But just to recap, because I think my camera cut out. I'm earning 32% off my $200. Don't pay attention to this. I got kind of confused with the collateral, but I'm earning 32%. Um, so my $200 should be 60 bucks in the year. So to be determined if that's the case, because I'm earning 32% APY. And even if it's not 32% and it's like 10%, it's still better than putting it in my bank account for 1% a year. So hope you guys learned something. Hope I didn't confuse you. I probably did. This video, like, subscribe. Um, my brain is fried. So see you guys and peace.